expand the box can have powerful ramifications in not just our own personal lives, but if, if you have children, um, they can have a powerful impact on the next generation. And Cornelius and Annette, I want to share a little bit about what it means to be a parent with these new tools. Cornelius. Yeah. Uh, if you are a parent, you want to have, you, you, you want the best for your children. You, you love them and you want them to flourish. And guess what your children want for you? They want you to flourish. They want you to go your way. They want you to be honest. They want you to own your ground. They want you to be a man or a woman or a human. They want you to fly. So show your child how you fly. And you can fly if you, if you have your feelings together, if you have access to your feelings, if you, if you go a, an authentic way. And the possibility management helped me so much to, to make hard decisions, to make a 180 degree turn or 90 degree turn and to, 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 to stand. So I'm really very honored and happy that my children call me when they need an advice. And I don't take that as for granted because they are 25 and 29. Why should they ask their father? And, but they do. And they are happy to see me happy. They are so happy to see me living my free life. And yeah, I want that for them. And there was never a better way to show them than living it right in front of their eyes. Annetta? Mm -hmm. Huh, I don't know. For me, it came it later. I started really late. So my children, when they were around 16, 17, they were really angry about me because they said, I protect them so. I didn't show them really how the world was outside. I created a kind of safe vessel for them. And there was a time period where they were really angry about me. Now, with gaining so much consciousness for myself and changing my relationship and accessing my feelings, so I can be different with them. So I, I let them be angry. It was okay. It felt really uncomfortable, but it was okay to say they're angry. And now they understand I hold space for them. they studying really also to be more interested. They are getting interested in what I'm doing and what I'm changed and we can discuss differently. And, you know, I think it's really important. So anyway, I didn't were able to use it where, where my children were growing up but they are young adults and I still use it and they, they get more interest. And I think I'm with Cornelius, they, they get in connection with me, with being authentic and feeling, showing my feelings, they starting really to interact with me on a different level. And this is most important. And I think for other parents, I can really tell if you can access your feelings and can be with your feelings, then you can use your clarity and, 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 and stick your ground and have a discussion with your children and give them boundaries and give them orientation. Then they have a totally different life. I mean, this was what I was lacking. When I think about myself, I was thinking I missed really my parents give me boundaries, clear boundaries often. You know, I knew exactly as a child how I have to manipulate them and get what I want. <laughs> and not good. I had really to work it laid up. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll let people, our viewers know that I've only been to one Expand the Box and I've had a little mini uh, workshop on the tools before that. And I'm, I'm so afraid that I, I could not handle my children's disappointment for whatever reason I knew for years like if my child when their heart is broken and I have some younger children so my youngest is eight right now my oldest is 14 and when I you know imagine them you know getting disappointed at school or whatever it was I thought I can't I won't be able to handle it I will mm -hmm. not be able to hold space for their disappointment I, it will tear me up inside and parents would often when they have these feelings 
I'm going to make sure they have a life that there's never any disappointments ever. Right. Like we try to like prevent them from having experiences. And so with doing the work on myself, expand the box helped me to see my sadness and to start feeling sadness and to acknowledge it. When my son had a huge disappointment this earlier this spring, I was able to sit with him for the entire time and let him feel sadness. Something so simple. Um, he was crying and it like his whole world had ended. And I, I could do that for him, but I don't think I would have been mm. able to before expanding the box. And then he was able to be at some point, he said, Mom, I think I'm done. I go, What do you mean you're done? He goes, I'm done. Exactly. I felt everything. I don't, and like his children, they're not like adults. They don't have, you know, packs of years and years and years of um, layers of sadness, right? So like he's suddenly out of nowhere, he goes, I'm done. I go, No more? He goes, No, I feel, I feel okay. And then it was like, I said to him, I go, Are you ready to problem solve the problem? He's like, Yeah, I'm ready to problem solve. I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, it was so amazing, but they, it, it wasn't even saddest about what happened. It was other things that had happened in his little life, you know, like he's 11 now. So like all the things um, that I didn't realize that he'd been carrying. So I don't know. It's as a parent, I felt like I, I was, I could parent so much better because I had done my own work. Yeah. So thank you. Thank so you. This is, yes, this is, uh, of course, it's also for people that don't have children as well. So, you know, you could do this with your friends other family members as well. Um, we all need this kind of healing. So.